So hi and hello. Welcome to our channel name Algo Exploration. My name is Sami and today we will going to learn how to find the answer of power of an element. So the input is two integers a and b. a should be greater than equals to two and b should be greater than equals to one and the output will be a raised to b. So we have to find a raised to b. So let's take a as two and b as sixty four. So at last we have to find the answer of a raised to sixty four. So what will be the approach? Since we are using divide and conquer technique, we have to divide it first. So let's say I am dividing two raised to thirty two by two raised to thirty two. So this will be two raised to thirty two. The dividing structure will be b by two. That will be sixty four by two. That is thirty two. Now after that, getting the answer from these terms. We will actually multiply it, and after multiplying, we will return the answer to its parent function. Now let's go it further. This will be divided by two raised to sixteen and two raised to sixteen. Similarly, this also two raised to sixteen and two raised to sixteen. This also two raised to eight, two raised to eight. So two raised to eight is getting computed for almost eight number of times. If we do this, two raised to four, and then two raised to four, we can see that two raised to four is getting computed for almost sixteen number of times. So why should we actually compute it again and again? We will actually compute it once only, and then we will multiply it. That is, after getting the answer of this term, we will multiply it. Let's say the answer is by Then we will do y into y, and we will return it to its parent function. So the tree will look like this: two raised to sixty-four, two raised to thirty-two, two raised to sixteen, two raised to eight, two raised to four, two raised to two, and then two raised to one. Now this is the small term. Small problem will be. When b equals to one, then we will return a. So, since it is a small problem, we will return two. Now, at this level, what it will do? It will multiply two into two. That will be four, and then it will pass to its parent function. Now, this will multiply four into four, and the answer will be sixteen. That will be returned to this parent function. Now, this will do. Sixteen into sixteen, and it will pass to its parent function. Now this function will do two fifty six into two fifty six. Sixteen into six is two fifty six, and then it will return to its parent function. Now this function will do two raised to sixteen into two raised to sixteen and return its to parent function. This will be two raised to thirty two. Now this term will do two raised to thirty two into two raised to thirty two. That will that will be two raised to sixty four, and then it will get written. So in this way, we actually find the power of an element. Now let's take a practical example and see how this is done. Let's take two a as two and b as sixteen. So two raised to sixteen will be six five. Five, three, six. So at last we should get this term. Now this will be, this will be get divided into two raised to eight, then two raised to four, then two raised to two, then two raised to one. Now since this is a small problem, two will be written. Now at this place, two into two will be computed, and that is four, and four will be written. At this place. Four into four will be get computed. That is sixteen, and sixteen will be written. At this place, sixteen into sixteen will get computed. That is two fifty six, and two fifty six will be written. At this place, two fifty six into two fifty six will be get computed, and we will get the answer. That is six five five three six. So in this way, we are actually computing the power of an element. Now let's see the pseudocode. Now this is the pseudocode. I have named 
the function as p o p that is power of an element and i am passing two parameters a and b now we have to define the small problem first that is if b equals to 1 then we will simply return a or else we will first find the mid that is b by 2 and then we can call it recursively that is p o e a comma mid mid is getting from this statement and then we will store the value in variable y after that we, what we will do we will multiply it by itself y into y and store it in variable x and we will return x this is a pseudo code so let's define what is divide conquer and combine this is the small problem this is the divide this is conquer and this is combine now this pseudo code is for when b is even now let's define what will happen if b is odd let's understand by actually taking an example a raised to 10 now what we will do we will divide 2 raised to 5 after that what we will do 5 will be get divided by 2 so we are taking the integer so 2 raised to 2 and then 2 raised to 1 now this is the small problem so we will actually return 2 at this place what this will do 2 into 2 that will be 4 so 4 will, 4 will be returned to its parent function 2 raised to 5 now firstly it will calculate 4 into 4 that will be 16 and then it will check whether b is even or odd if it is odd then it will again multiply by 2 that will be 32 and then it will pass to its parent function now at this level 32 into 32 will be get computed that is 1024 and then it will check whether the b is even or odd since it is even it will not do anything so we get the answer as 1024 so what should be the manipulation in this pseudo code now here we will this part will be same here we will check if b is even or not if it is then we will return x or else we will return x into a that's it so this will be the final pseudo code this will handle even or odd part as well so in the next lecture i'll show you how to analyze the time complexity so thank you